Okay, this is a, a very sad case. This is a medical case, folks, so pay, pay attention. We're gonna need rescue to step up big time for this, and hopefully there is some stuff medically that can be done for this young man. When you see him in a minute, when he looks up, you're gonna understand why. This is, you might've saw the plea. Come here, baby, I know you're smelling my leashes. When you see the, come here, baby, come here. I know, I'm gonna see, I know, come here, I know, come here. Let's see the face. So this young man looks like he had cancer, uh, some masses on his uh, nose, on his snout that exploded. Uh, and this is what they look like. Apparently his owners decided that the best course of action was to surrender him to Bark rather than to have ever sought medical attention when he was uh, in when he was in their care. This is what we see here from so many, here baby, here, here. I know you want treats, he likes his treats. Uh, this is what we see from so many of our lovely Houstonian animal owners who should never, ever, ever have an animal or, or any human in their care. Look at, I mean, first of all, he has no care at all of the rest of his body either. He was kept outside. They clearly saw that he had some sort of mass on his nose and did nothing about it. He was surrendered on 1014. He's 178-9287. Uh, doesn't have a name, at least I don't see a name. He's an unneutered male, three-year-old English American Bulldog mix. That, look, there you go. I mean, it's just horrific. You can actually see into his uh, mouth, you can see his teeth through the openings. Uh, hey, baby, come here. That's, those are, those are, right there, you can see the teeth right there. Those are his trees, here. Those are his trees, or her trees, sorry. He's, try, he's like trying to get through the fence to get her treats over there, not realizing there's a fence in between them. He is 53 pounds. Uh, high heartworm positive. I mean, why not? I mean, he's got a massive explosion in his face. He's got missing hair on the back. They didn't treat him, but kept him outside. He's got lacerations, sores all over his body, and he's heartworm positive. These owners should be prosecuted. I'm gonna actually refer that to the district attorney who handles that, because this is a cruelty case. I don't care if they surrender. It, you, if you can't afford treatment, that's one thing, but you can't also sit by and watch a dog develop into the situation without either surrendering the dog or doing something. Hey, they get away from the treats. Come here. He really desperately wants that treat there. Come here. Come here, baby. Hey, come here. Come here. I'm, I'm trying to focus on you. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Let's look at you. Not, not to worry about the treat. Can you all see a good image of that? Come here, baby. Very sweet. Can you all see an image of that? I'm trying to get a good image of the nose right here. Come here. Uh, easy to leash up. No problem coming outside. Come here. Come here. Show the nose. Come here. Can you see that there? I know. He, he, I believe it or not, he moves around pretty good and doesn't sit still. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to dangle a treat in front so you can get a good look. Here. Here, you ready? Okay, there's, there, are you all seeing that now? How horrific is that? Look at that, can you believe that? He's got full use of his mouth, but unfortunately, he, probably his sense of smell, there's probably some issues there. So he's gonna need immediate attention with an oncologist. Um, that's his number one issue. Again, 178-9287, he's going to be on the list, I'm told, on Tuesday, uh, which is really sad for a dog to be cruelly treated, then surrender with no ramifications to the owners, Although, so I have something to do with it. I, there will be some. Um, all right, folks, let's get the word out on this baby right here because he's very, very sweet. I know, lovely. It's not your fault that you had crappy owners. Okay, 178-9287.